uh, we'll, we'll go straight to questions for Sean. Uh, Anthony, we'll start with you. Hey, Sean. Um, these turnarounds, especially this one, Saturday to Tuesday, it, it, it feels like it's something that requires a little bit of extra work or, or something in training just to get your body ready. What are you doing to kind of mitigate that and keep injuries from uh, potentially happening? Yeah, I mean, I think honestly, a lot of guys like uh, they enjoy playing games and I think a lot of guys kind of enjoy the quick turnaround. I mean, we we uh, play the game to play games. And I think, you know, just taking care of our bodies, coming in early, staying a little extra to kind of hit the ice tubs, hit, hit the uh, get a massage from the trainers and uh, do the right prehab and rehab work that's needed to, to be healthy for these games. But um, everyone's excited for the game. It's a different opponent that we uh, haven't seen this year. Um, they're a good team, a good test, and uh, we're all looking forward to it. Sean, you haven't had a must-win game uh, since last year's playoffs. What does it mean for this team to have truly your backs up against the wall and you need three points in order to keep playing this month? Yeah, it's a great point. I think um, it's it's good for everybody to kind of, you know, feel that pressure and, uh, and uh, make the most of it and, and kind of play to their utmost potential. And I think, um, it, it's like I said, it's a, it's a big-time opponent, um, but we're up for the challenge and, uh, you know, we're, we're ready for the uh, – kind of League's Cup experience where, where we have to go for the win, have to have to make the most of this opportunity and, and hopefully advance. You guys, uh, I would imagine, have been watching Olympic soccer. Jay Mai's over there. What do you think so far of his performance? Yeah, I think he's he's been killing it. Um, he's he's uh, It's great to see them get the win in the last game. They, they beat on uh, New Zealand, and uh, they have another big game coming up uh, to advance. And um, I, I think he's been one of the top performers for the team. So it's, we see it all the time. And I think uh, kind of having him see, having his talent shown on a, on a global scale is awesome to see. And, uh, you know, I've been playing with him sir, for five, six years now. And uh, to see his growth is unbelievable. And I think uh, he'll, he'll keep growing and performing as a big time player. We will go to Zoom for the next question. Justin, go ahead. Hey, Sean, uh, thanks for your time. Justin Ruderman here with Leagues Cup. Um, <clears throat> as a center back, going up against a player like uh, Solomon Rondon, is, is that a challenge that you relish? And just how do you look to stop a player that is in top form like he is? Yeah, he's a, he's, he's a big guy, big, big physical uh, forward, but he's also uh, great technically. And, uh, you know, we, we saw them play in the Champions League final against Columbus and, and he put on a great performance. But yeah, I think as a center back, you look forward to those challenges. Um, you know, some of the, my most favorite memories are playing against, you know, top forwards in the league and, and learning uh, to play against them and, uh, you know, to kind of fight and duel against them. So it's a challenge that we're, we're looking forward to and uh, hopefully we get the better hand. We will go to Christian Ortiz next. Christian, go ahead. Thank you. Good afternoon, uh, Sean. Just wanted to talk to you. I uh, wanted to ask you about the feelings after the match. Um, obviously, the team lost in penalties, but how has the team been able to recover from the loss of the, the two points in the penalty shootout? Yeah, we were a little disappointed in ourselves. Um, you know, we could have got the win. Um, you know, when I look back to the game, I had a big chance on a set piece that, you know, I'm still kind of uh, kicking myself over. So I think we had some big opportunities to win that game during regulation, but um, unfortunately we didn't. Um, but now, like we said earlier, it's a must win game and, and that pressure is kind of a good thing. You know, we're playing a top opponent and uh, we have to play on a top level now. If we want to, you know, win trophies and, and do big things this year, we have to play at a top level. And I think it starts tomorrow. Zach, do we have any other questions in the room? No, nope, nope. all good in the room. Okay, we have one more over Zoom. Uh, Anthony, go ahead. <coughs> All right, Sean, you mentioned it a little bit before. This team historically the past few years has had some trouble. It, Sandro called it unlucky with, with, with the penalty kicks. What um, is it, does it hang over the locker room? Has it been kind of a thing where you, where the team feels like it, it really, it, it's, it's not feeling good if they get to that point? Or is it, is it something, is it a cloud hanging over the locker room? 
No, I don't think it's uh, thought about too much. And, you know, when we get in that moment, um, guys step up and, you know, in practice, everyone, everyone kind of hits their shots and, you know, sometimes you get unlucky in the games and uh, that's, that's kind of the nature of a penalty shootout. So I think uh, we, we don't really want to put it uh, in the hands of a penalty shootout. So I think we want to win before that. And uh, that's the plan going in. That's the plan going into Toronto. Like I said, we had, we had some opportunities. I had an opportunity to score. Um, so we, we wanted to uh, win prior to that penalty shootout, but you know, anything could happen. You see, um, the first kick, Insigne, who probably buries every penalty, missed the first one. So um, it's just the nature of a penalty shootout. Any other questions in the room or over Zoom? All right, Sean, appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Thank you.